Hey guys, Mr. K here, um, giving you a tutorial on Minecraft. How to make a powered rail booster. That's my bird, and sorry for the echo, I don't know how to fix it yet. So basically, to start with, you make three blocks like this, and two over here, so it's in the shape of a P. Now, you put three blocks here, so you got this basic formation. I'll cover it out. So now you use your rails, and you add the rails here and um, this is version 1.5 so the rails are a bit trippy so you do that come around rails then you put a powered rail on this one then you switch back to your normal rail there we go so we got that basic formation down and um, yeah that that's basically it that's the booster part so now you got your normal track coming out. That's where your minecart's gonna go. Normal track. Um, now you need a way to activate this to make it work. Uh, okay, so I'll show you how. Too high. Put a button. One behind it. So you got this. So when you're sitting down in your minecart, you can press the button and you can launch yourself. Um, and what you do is you take away these two blocks and uh, the way powered rails work is that the block under the powered rail if that gets power is also the powered rail does so if I give this block power this will get power too so that's why we're doing it this way so when we press the button it'll give the powered rail power and also a thing to know about powered rails is that when the powered rails are off, minecarts get stuck on them. They can't go past them. They just stick there. Like this. See, it'll just stay there. Unless it's powered, it'll just stay like that. So now, this is how it basically works. You press the button, that gets launched, and um, it's a regular booster. It boosts the cart this way, and it just resets itself right here. And since this is off again, it can't move, so that's pretty much how it works. Now I'll teach you a bit about, uh, one sec, okay, now I'll teach you a bit about the boosters itself, not the boosters, powered rails, okay, like that, mm -hmm. okay, so you can basically power it like that, um, or with any sort of input, but I think the best way to power it is so no one can see you're powering it, and like this, See, this is the block that it's under, and if you power this block, you power the rail. And if you put it, by putting a redstone torch there, you're powering this block, and you're also powering the rail. So, it's kind of like a secretive way of doing this. And now you just do that, and there you go, it's powered. No one knows how. Um, another way is using pressure plate rail. I won't get too in-depth with those right now, but basically, if a minecart... Okay, with that, grab that. If a minecart is on the pressure plate rail, just like a normal pressure plate, it'll power everything around it. So, put that on. There you go. It's powered. And it'll stay powered long enough for the minecart to go by. Like that. Now I'll just show you everything together. By putting that there. Pressing the button. There you go. See? It gets boosted by both. And when you're not in the minecart, most of the time, um, this doesn't reset itself properly and I don't know why that happens it's just weird but if you're in the minecart it should reset itself and if it doesn't then well it's easy just you could just reset it by yourself by running into it um, so there we have it um, that's basically powered rails and how to make the booster so wee. so that's it thanks for watching rate comment subscribe see you